How's it going, everyone? Today we got a story time of a spoiled, rich, and entitled kid who thinks that he's better than the pilot and wants to fly the plane, so tries to take over the plane from the pilot mid-flight and literally gets kicked off and banned. It is a crazy story time of a spoiled rich kid that I know you will enjoy, so leave a like on the video right now to claim your free nothing, subscribe to the channel with notifications on if you are new and enjoy stories, and with that being said, let's just jump right into it. So we're going to call the subscriber who submitted this story Brett. So Brett and his family, they were going on a vacation to, I don't have it exactly, but it was a vacation place, maybe Florida or I don't know. They are going on vacation and they were excited. However, they needed to go on an airplane to get to this vacation place. So it wasn't accessible via a car trip slash road trip. Or if it was, maybe it was one of those 15 hour road trips that if you know your family, you know it's just better off if you're just going on a little car trip with them, if you know what I mean. So anyways, Brett and his parents, they pull up to the airport and they get there and they go through the security line and everything is fine. And so they're waiting in the terminal uh, before waiting for their flight. So if you guys have ever been in an airport before or have ever flown on an airplane, you're probably aware that delays can happen. It's really annoying. Don't get me wrong, it is really annoying when you've been waiting there, you're tired, maybe this isn't your first flight, or maybe you woke up really early, or maybe, man, you're just tired, and all of a sudden you hear that you need to be waiting in this airport that's loud, and babies are crying, and you're sweaty, and it's gross, and you're surrounded by people, and you learn that you need to wait an hour more, two hours more for your flight, for reasons out of your control, that is super, super annoying, and I totally understand getting mad. One thing I can never understand, or not that I can't understand, but I will never, like, I always, like, it's a bad thing to do, and I always disapprove of it, is when you take your anger out on people who have no control over it. You think the girl, the lady, I should say, behind the desk is secretly controlling the flights and, like, oh, look at uh, Mr. Bean and his family over there. I don't know his random last name. Mr. Bean and his family over there. Ah, you know what? They must be on vacation. Let me ruin their day. And then proceeds to like cackle an evil laugh and lightning strikes behind her. No, dude, like obviously they don't, they can't control this. So it always annoys me when people, you know, complain about that stuff. But anyways, this is a perfect segue into introducing you to Ben. Ben is the spoiled kid. Ben has never been told no in his life. Ben believes that the reason why his family is rich is because they are inherently better and smarter and greater, and since he was birthed by them, then yes, of course, he must be just inherently the smarterest ever, in quotes from him. Yeah, so uh, sure enough, Ben, he was a spoiled kid. And look, I've said this before, and I'll say it again. Just because your parents have money, or maybe relatively better off, than other parents, you don't have to be billionaires to be relatively better off than other people, doesn't necessarily mean that you're, you're immediately a spoiled kid. I don't want anyone to believe that they're immediately doomed to this fate of being a spoiled brat. No, you're, in my books at least, I can't speak about other people, but in my books, you're only a spoiled brat if you act like a spoiled brat. Is that not fair? Anyways, though, so Brett and his family and Ben and his family, they're all sitting in the same terminal as they're all about to get on the same flight. <laughs> so all of a sudden, there's an announcement saying the flight is going to be 45 minutes delayed. That's honestly not a bad delay. Sure. Would I want to hear that if I'm about to go on a... No, 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 I don't want to hear that. No one wants to hear any delay. However, let's be fair. The delays normally go a lot longer. There's one hour, two hour... If flights could be canceled, man, like if there's a really bad storm that isn't going to, your flight could be canceled straight up. And then you got to really scramble. I mean, I have some flight horror stories that maybe I'll tell in another day. Maybe I'll tell on a second channel. Who knows? Anyways, though, so immediately Ben starts screaming, no, and that's, this is, this is basically Brett's introduction to this kid, Ben. So Brett looks over, and he's like, what? 
And Ben's like, no! And he, like, he literally stands up, and Brett ha Ben has his, like, little iPad with his greasy fingers tapping away on it before. Puts down his iPad, stands up, and is like, his chest is out, his, his head is, like, flailed back, almost like he's in a movie scene, and his arms are, like, pushed way back. He's like, no! And they collapse down to his knees. <laughs> and Brett is looking at him, just like, buddy, she didn't just say that, like, your entire family was massacred in a car accident and that the car is on the loose coming for you next, bro. She literally just said that your flight is delayed by 45 minutes. I should say our flight is delayed by 45 minutes. 45. Dude, who cares? Literally, who cares? Yeah, so the next thing, Ben gets up off his knees, and now he's like, uh, uh, and he starts, like, hunching over and, like, b breathing in and out, but, like, being, I I'm trying to describe, like, him looking all angry, like, uh, 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 he's like, who is responsible for this? <laughs> and he looks up, and there's, like, this poor lady who's running the stand of, like, trying to, like, manage all the flights. She's not even, okay, she's not even managing the flights. If Ben was this mad, he should have stormed into air, like, aircraft control. Uh, would have gotten escorted away by security and kicked out, but he should have at least gone there if he's actually looking for the people in charge of this. You really think the lady behind the desk who's relaying the information that she gets is the secret evil mastermind behind all the flights? Like, no. Anyways, Brett watches pretty helplessly as Ben storms up to the front desk and he's like, I demand the flight come on time. And the lady's like, sorry, buddy. Like, I, I can't, con I don't control it. And Ben's like, but I'm asking you, so it must be done. And this is just another situation of when a spoiled kid is told no. I mean, you guys already know when a spoiled kid is told no, it's, it's the end of their world. It's like, oh my God, you told me no? How dare you? How dare you tell me no? I must be told yes for everything because I demand everything that I ever... If me wants, me gets. And that is something that you must understand, mister. Like, this kid is actually insane. Buddy thinks just because he asks for something means that he is 100% going to get it every single freaking time, bro. Like, that's just simply not the case. <laughs> Anyways, though, so, yeah, this flight attendant's like, no, <laughs> I can't control it, I'm sorry, but I will also let you know if there's any other changes. Basically, she's saying, I'll let you know if it's delayed more, bud, now go away. So the spoiled Brad Ben storms away, he's like, mom, dad, or mommy, daddy, do something, and, like, the dad's low-key checked out at this point. Buddy has his AirPods in, he's out for the count. He's like, I'm on family vacation like, nothing's worse than family vacation low-key if you got a spoiled brat, but it's also your fault if you raise the spoiled brat at the end of the day. But Buddy was checked out. He's not dealing with any of this. And low-key, man, I can't blame him. Yeah, so eventually, right, uh, sure enough, the plane does come 45 minutes later, so there's no extra delays, which is nice enough for them, you know. At the end of the day, there's nothing you can do if your flight's delayed or not. And it's really just an unfortunate, just, it's unfortunate event, maybe it was, uh, I don't know, something happened at the gate, somewhere else, there's a million reasons why it could happen, and no one really wants annoyed people, so no one's going to intentionally delay your flight, so it's always an unfortunate thing if it happens, but also completely out of your control. <laughs> Anyways, though, so sure enough, right, the subscriber, Brett, eventually, you know, they hear, like, oh, boarding, boarding first class, and immediately, right, of course, Ben and his family get up, and they immediately go, and Ben immediately pushes his way in front of the first of the line. So if you guys don't know, normally when they board first class, it's a mix of anyone with, or, sorry, boarding row one, so each airplane does, each airline, I should say, does it a little bit differently, so not every single one's going to be the same. However, a lot of them, and specifically this one, <laughs> what they do is they will board both first-class tickets as well as they will also board anyone with, like, a veteran ID or mil active military ID or anything like that. You'll also get... You don't get, like, the first-class seats, but you at least get the priority boarding, which is definitely a nice thing to do. Anyways, though... 
So yeah, the, you can you can probably already imagine uh, the spoiled brat Ben needs to be first in line, and there's this like old military veteran who is like walking his way to the front of the line, and yes, Ben immediately almost I mean Brett watches as Ben almost knocks this guy over, man. Brett, uh, ben almost knocks this guy over. And uh, li literally watches as this guy almost falls over as Ben pushes past him just so he can be front of the line. Ben literally wants to be just like number one in the line so bad that he's willing to push past a U.S. veteran to do that, bro. Like actually no respect from this kid at all. And that's the point I'm really trying to push home. Or th you know, So anyways, eventually Brett's boarding line gets up. He goes in. And they're walking into the plane, and they walk by, and they see that, oh, like, they, they, they walk by uh, the spoiled kid Ben and his, his family. They literally had the first row, the first, the first row, the first class row. And, of course, Ben has an aisle seat, and you see him with his, like, iPad and his AirPod Pro Max headphones or whatever. And he's just kind of sitting there, tapping away, whatever, doing his little thing. And Brett just walks by and is like, this might be the most spoiled kid I ever, I've ever known, man. Like, this might be the most spoiled kid, which Brett was correct, but Brett did not know, actually, how correct he was about to be, as you guys can tell by the title of this video. Yeah, so anyways, eventually, uh, Brett gets in his seat, and he actually has a relatively close to the front seat. And that's because like it's it's not like it's definitely not a first class seat, but it's it's one of the main it's one of the main cabin seats. But since Brett's mom was really, really early in booking their ticket, they were able to get really good priority seating. So Brett's a really tall kid. He's actually taller than his mom and his dad, and he's only like 15. Uh, I mean, he's I think he's almost like over six foot or something. So they always give him the aisle seats because they know that if anything, he actually probably needs the most leg room. So Brett was both close to the front, had an aisle seat, and he was actually able to see, because there wasn't that many first-class seats, that he was actually able to watch and almost hear uh, the spoiled kid if he wanted to. So Brett didn't know at that time that the spoiled kid was about to pull off something insane, but as we will see, Brett is actually able to get a pretty good front row seat to see such. Real quick, if you made it this far into the video before we watch the spoiled kid uh, almost hijack the plane, um, uh, make sure to comment down below spoiled. That'll be the secret word of the day and it'll let, help me know how many people made it this far into the video. Not how many people, but who made it this far because I can go my statistics and see how many people. I want to see the names and faces of the people who did. I mean, a percentage isn't going to tell me that. And then also, while you're down there, let me know what you're, comment down below what you do while watching my videos. I'm genuinely curious. And if you weren't already aware, the best way to support the channel is actually by watching as many videos as you can, like binge watching the videos. If you're doing something, let a bunch of my videos play. If you're going to sleep, maybe put on one of my compilation videos. It really helps out. And finally, if you're listening to this on Spotify, make sure you've rated the podcast five stars and followed it. And with that being said, let's watch this spoiled kid absolutely lose it, guys. It's actually insane. Yeah, so anyways, right, sure enough, it the flight's been up for about, you know, an hour or so, two hours. At this point, I think the spoiled kid is just getting bored of his iPad. And, uh, you know, the spoiled kid isn't used to being bored because he's going to be infinitely entertained. I think there wasn't any in-flight Wi-Fi. I think there wasn't a capability for that because then the spoiled kid would definitely have gotten access to it and then would have just been surfing the internet and on TikTok and all that, like YouTube shorts and such, and would have been infinitely entertained and it wouldn't have mattered. But I think he ran out of downloaded content or he got bored with the games, the iPad games he had that didn't need the internet. So now a dangerous mix of a kid who is super spoiled and also very bored. So anyways, uh, Brett watches as the spoiled kid is like, <laughs> he's kind of looking up, he's looking down, he's like sighing very obviously. I think he taps his mom at one point and she just, I think, gives him like a shrug. Brett doesn't know exactly what was asked, but maybe it was something along the lines of like, oh, can I have Wi-Fi? Can I do this? Can I, I like, oh, help me on board? What can I do? All that kind of stuff. Um, so eventually the spoiled kid, he gets up. I think he asks, like, he's going to go to the bathroom or whatever. And Brett doesn't think much of it. I think Brett's just, like, bored, spacing out, paying attention, 
which Brett is honestly very happy that he's been paying attention now, just because of what's about to follow is actually insane. So Brett watches as the spoiled kid is like wandering around, which you're not really supposed to wander around or whatever. And so he's wandering around looking at stuff. And that's when one of the flight attendants kind of comes up to him and whispers something. So basically, I'm pretty sure 99% sure what she whispers, like, hey, buddy, like, you can't be wandering around unless you're about to go to the bathroom, especially the front of the cabin. You can't be, like, just hanging out here. <laughs> so essentially what happens is the spoiled kid must have said, oh, I'm going to the bathroom because she kind of gives him a nod and lets him go. And the spoiled kid starts heading to the front of the, uh, the office or the office, the front of the plane where the bathroom is, but also where the pilot's door is. So anyways, right, and remember, okay, another thing too, Spoiled Kid is not like six. Spoiled Kid is like 14. So this isn't like, oh, cute, he wants to fly the plane. It's like, oh my God, no, he's actually a serious issue. Anyway, so the Spoiled Kid starts heading towards what seems like to be the bathroom, um, but then the Spoiled Kid immediately makes a sharp turn instead of taking left, sharp, like, forward, and then immediately goes to the door. So then immediately the Spoiled Kid goes straight for the door, and starts banging on it. Let me fly the plane! So, th b immediately, <laughs> look at this point, Brett is, his mouth drops. Because, dude, imagine if you're, if you're in this situation, man, you're just watching passively some little spoiled brat just very suddenly start slamming on the door, screaming, Let me fly the plane! Like, oh my god. I, I, I don't know how I'd react, man. I mean, I probably just keep watching because I'd be like, dang, that's crazy. This is going to be really funny. So immediately, right, when you see a flight attendant walk over and be like, you need to come start like almost yelling at this kid because I think it's the same one who's like, oh, like you got to go to your seat. At that point, you speak nicely to the person because, oh, they probably didn't know any better. Now they're a flight risk. So now you yell at them. You know what I mean? Like now it's time. Okay. <laughs> it's like, okay, buddy, it's time for you to go now. Anyways, though, so sure enough, right, the spoiled kid refused, like, the, the flight attendant's, like, pulling on him, is, like, pulling on him to go, and he's, like, grabbing onto the handle. Um, it, this, <laughs> it's actually becoming a big issue. Yeah, so anyways, eventually the flight attendant's, like, calls up backup, and then, like, a big male flight attendant comes over <laughs> and basically pulls this kid off. So at this point, I think the uh, spoiled kid's mother is aware of what's going on. She wakes up the spoiled kid's dad, and the two flight attendants are basically, like, whisper screaming at this kid. And then eventually, like, the spoiled kid's mom and dad, like, walk up to the front, and they're, like, they're told to go back to their seats, and then they're like, this is my son. And they're just like, your son committed, like, a, I think, like, a felony or something. I, I don't know exactly what that, probably is something, definitely is something illegal at this point. So they all, all start freaking out, and all of a sudden, the plane, uh, the pilot makes an announcement that they're making an uh, impromptu stop at another airport within the United States that's along the way but is not at their destination. So, they, <laughs> yeah, essentially what's going on is that what I'm told by the subscriber is that they actually are dropping them off because they're getting officially kicked off the plane. Yes, they're getting kicked off the plane. So at this point, the spoiled kid's parents start, like, yelling at the flight attendants, and the flight attendants start yelling back. It's a whole, like, yelling match at this point. So everyone's really confused, and the thing is, Brett's, like, low-key the only one who really knows what's going on, because he's been paying attention the entire time, even when the spoiled kid was just being a brat and not actually being a, a felon who is also a brat. Yeah, so sure enough, you know, Brett's parents are like, uh, what is going on here? So Brett gives them the synopsis of the story, so eventually the plane does fly down and it boards somewhere and they're saying, we're making a pit stop. Everyone, please stay in your seats, whatever. And so, yeah, sure enough, the spoiled kid and his family are like escorted off the flight. It's absolutely crazy. But eventually they get back into the air. And uh, yeah, so the spoiled kid is like the spoiled kid was like literally during the whole thing, put his AirPods in or his AirPod Pros and he goes back on his iPad because for him, the world has no consequences. He's believing that his daddy will solve this. Well, guess what, buddy? Daddy didn't solve this, and you might be banned from flying for a long time. Yeah, consequences of being a spoiled kid, bro. Moral of the story, don't be a spoiled kid.